So we don't have a traditional tutorial today, but we're gonna be taking a look at how to create 3D photo animation with one of the best After Effects templates out there called Volume Max. So we have several tutorials on this channel on how to create 3D photo animation from scratch in After Effects, but anytime that I work on a project that requires 3D photo animation, I always resort to Volume Max because it allows you to quickly create some of the best 3D photo animation for your photos with just very easy tools and it's awesome to use. So without wasting more time, I wanna show you how this tool works. So if you ever find yourself working on a 3D photo project in the future, or you're working on a current project that needs 3D photo animation, you're gonna be introduced to a tool that's gonna to allow you to create awesome work fairly fast. So let's jump in and let's get started. And if you wanna check out Volume Max at any time during this video, you can check our links below. Okay, so this is what Volume Max looks like when you open it up. It's just an After Effects template, and it's very easy to follow along with. So for example, down here, you'll see that you'll have easy steps to follow along. So we can double click into our photo composition, and this is where we drag in our photo. And you seal down your photo, and it doesn't matter about the actual size, and you can have black space around your photo, but you can match it to whatever size you want. And then back in our original composition, all we have to do is click on Setup. And this is where we get to create our depth map using these pre-made faces. And you have a couple options to choose here. So you have a male face and a female face. We just need the male face for this photo. So we'll go ahead and turn that one off. And then we'll just take this mesh here and we're gonna match it up to our person's face. And depending on the face you're working with, it might be looking in another direction. So we'll come here to our 3D camera angle and we can just change what direction our portrait is in. So then we can rematch it up and that looks really good and that's really good then we can grab our tools over here and just make any subtle adjustments to match up the face as best as we can very quickly and we can also kind of match this up with the neck as well so we know what we're working with okay and this should be good enough from my experience of using volume max nothing too difficult so when you have this set up you click on this x-ray mode uncheck it and this will give you the complete depth map of your portrait and as you can see this is really awesome looking so then we'll go back into our main composition and now we can take this layer called volume max controller and we can now move it around our composition and this will allow us to create that nice 3d movement in our image so i have it in quarter quality just to keep things quick but you can see as i move around we are starting to create that nice 3d look with our photo and that is really awesome i go up and down any direction um, as we see fit so to animate this, we can have this null object on one side of the composition, and then we can scrub forward forward here in our timeline, and then we can just move it to the other side. So this will allow us to create a very nice, subtle 3D movement around our image, and that looks awesome. Technically, we could be done with this if you are happy with a very clean 3D photo movement, but we have other options that we can add on to here just to help, you know, do more thing now for example what we can do is we can add say a little bit of parallax if you want so we can come here and increase that and that's going to allow us to create a very unique camera movement into our image so i'll scroll back here and as i scrub through here that will allow us to create like a very nice you know zoom in movement onto our photo and make it even more three-dimensional and that's really awesome you have a few other effects here so you can fish eye your photo if you want but the real effects that i really like is you click on this icon up here and you have the ability to add like lens flares and particles so for example i can turn on a lens flare just by increasing the opacity i can come here to flare selector and kind of just choose what lens flare i, I want i think there's like a hundred or so flares in here to choose from you know that's cool and then i can also come here and click on this particle icon and i can add in dirt which adds like a nice little grungy texture to our photo we can turn on uh particles as well uh, which will be kind of like floating around inner side of our composition. So for this image, the particles actually might make a lot of sense. And you have a several different types of particles. So if I change the number here, you can get like raindrops. I, I don't know. It's really awesome. It's a lot of awesome things that you can get, but I'll keep it at that. And just a handful of other settings that you can adjust to help out your image. So when you're done and you're happy with your uh, photo, you come here to export. You just double click on it and I'll tell you, hey, go to the exports presets here we click on this and then the template will ask you how do you want to export this so do you want it 1080 fast or do you need a specific aspect ratio or do you want it to be a 4k that's completely up to you so what you can do is i want it fast i double click that composition and then all i do is go to composition add to adobe media encoder so the export ability on this is just super simplified so you can export it in any way that you want which i've never seen that in a template before so that is just really awesome on top of being able to create 3d photos now with our particles lens flare and with volume x we've been able to take this 2d image and make it into a 3d photo very easily so now we'll take a look at setting a landscape photo into 3d space because it is different from doing a portrait 
So when you have a, your image in here, what we can do is click on setup and that'll bring us to our setup composition. Simply what we're going to do is we have three different layers here for close mask, mid mask and far mask. And we're going to create mask for different sections of the image. So for example, I'll come here and create a mask around the side of our foreground here with the close mask. So I'll get all this right here in the foreground and then I'll just quickly close that up. So boom, that's selected. Then I'll come here to mid mask and I'll kind of just uh, select everything uh, here. And now with the mid mask, I selected everything in the mid ground of this image. And then I'll come here to far mask and I'll just select everything, everything else that's outside of the mid and close range. So this will be the ocean and also the clouds in this case. So this is a really quick and rough way to do it. But once you have all your masks set up for far, close and mid, we'll go back into our main composition. We can, as before, we'll grab the volume max controller and we can simply grab it and we can now rotate our image around. And so now we're going to get this nice 3D look in our image. So we'll move it over to this side. And I'll just drag it to the other side of our comp so we'll have a little bit of 3D movement in there. So now we'll have a very subtle 3D movement here and as before you can go ahead and add like a little bit of parallax to this as well. So we can zoom in by a touch. We can of course go back into some of those other effects layers, add our lens flares if we want to do that um, and a lot of cool options. So now you have the ability to take a portrait, a landscape, uh, and any other type of object and make it into a 3D photo with inside of After Effects using Volume Max. And there's just so much that we did not go through with this template, but I wanted to keep this short and sweet so you get the idea of how this works. So if you find yourself in the need of creating 3D photo animation, you now have a quick and easy way to do so for your client projects. So that is our quick in-depth guide on using Volume Max. And hopefully you're able to see how you can take pretty much any type of photo that you have and turn it into awesome 3d photo animation really quick you can learn more about volume max by our links below it'll take you over uh, to the full template where you can check out many examples and get a deeper dive on how the template works so so i really want to get that video out there so if you're working on those projects in the future that require 3d photo animation work now you have access to a tool that will allow you to create awesome work so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are below and always be creating